The Hunger Games, Sunrise on the Reaping is set 24 years before the Hunger Games movies, so the prequel will need to recast Hamish Abernathy. Sunrise on the Reaping will depict the second quarter quell, which is among the bloodiest Hunger Games in history. It also happens to be Hamish's tournament. As such, we'll see a younger version of Hamish in the upcoming film, even if he's not the prospective character. But after Woody Harrelson's iconic performance as Katniss and Peeta's District 12 mentor, any actor who tackles a young Hamish will have big shoes to fill. Fortunately, there's one star who's perfect for the role, and Hunger Games fans are already fancasting him as Hamish. With so many people wishing for this actor to follow Harrelson's performance, Sunrise on the Reaping would be wise to make it happen. This actor is already nailing his role in one book-to-screen adaptation, and there's little doubt he'd win viewers over as Hamish. Needless to say, this popular Sunrise on the Reaping fancast is too good for the Hunger Games prequel to ignore. Casting Tom Glincarney as Hamish in Sunrise on the Reaping is a brilliant idea. The House of the Dragon actor looks and acts the part. If Sunrise on the Reaping wants to have continuity with the previous Hunger Games movies, it will need to cast an actor who looks like a younger version of Harrelson. It's no wonder that House of the Dragon's Tom Glincarney is a popular fancast for the role, as his hair and facial structure make it easy to envision him as Hamish in his youth. This is especially true when he's playing Aegon Targaryen, who could believably be plucked out of the HBO series and placed directly into the Hunger Games prequel. The House of the Dragon star looks the part, and he seems willing enough to consider a role in Sunrise on the Reaping. Glincarney responded to the Hamish fan castings, telling Vestal magazine that he is incredibly flattered by them. If all goes well, I'll fight for my life in the Hunger Games, he jested, and hey, it isn't a no. It's not just the actor's looks that make him perfect to take over as Hamish, either. House of the Dragon puts his acting range on full display, proving he can portray a complex character like Hamish convincingly. Tom Glincarney is the perfect actor to play Hamish in the Hunger Games prequel. He can capture Hamish's nuances. Tom Glincarney as Aegon Targaryen in House of the Dragon and Hamish holding his drink in Hunger Games custom image by Nathan Graham Lowry. In addition to looking like a younger Hamish Abernathy, Glincarney is capable of capturing Hamish's nuances. He proves as much during House of the Dragon. Aegon is a complex and interesting character, and he isn't exactly a good person. However, Glincarney makes viewers feel sympathy for him, even as he shows some of his biggest flaws. We've seen Aegon marry and drunk, and we've witnessed him angry and grieving. Sunrise on the Reaping will need whoever portrays Hamish to pull out all the stops emotionally, and Glincarney can manage it. Hamish isn't as morally dubious as Aegon Targaryen, but he has to be somewhat ruthless to win the 50th Hunger Games. He also comes off as prickly and disillusioned when Katniss first meets him, and that seems to be his state for most of the years leading up to the 74th Hunger Games. Hamish also has an unhealthy relationship with alcohol, which will likely emerge after his Hunger Games. An actor needs to handle all these aspects of his character with care, and Glincarney's performance as Aegon makes a case for his success. House of the Dragon proves Tom Glincarney can handle adapted characters. House of the Dragon proves Glincarney has the range to portray Hamish, and the HBO series also suggests he can handle adapted characters. There's a lot of pressure that accompanies bringing characters from the book to the screen. The fact that Glincarney already has experience in this area means he should be capable of capturing the Hamish readers know and love. Of course, House of the Dragon isn't adapting an actual narrative, Fire and Blood reads more like a historical text. Still, he has experience interpreting a character's behavior on the page, then bringing that to the screen. Whoever takes on Hamish's character in Sunrise on the Reaping will need to walk a fine line, paying homage to Harrelson's portrayal while also setting their iteration apart. After witnessing how Glincarney adds to Aegon's characterization, I have faith he could do this successfully. Only time will tell if The Hunger Games, Sunrise on the Reaping pursues him as its District 12 victor. This fancast is too perfect not to act on, though, so hopefully, the upcoming prequel does.